Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're bringing you the Polyhedra ecosystem quest on layer three. Polyhedra network is a network built on a ZK technology. So you can send messages, you can send NFTs, you can send assets <clears throat> across different networks and all being done on layer zero. Keep that in mind um, <clears throat> as they do not have a token or have not launched yet. So using Polyhedra will potentially give you um, on-chain activity towards the layer zero airdrop if there is one. But <clears throat> we've done quite a few videos on Polyhedra and the ZK NFT, ZK Bridge uh, platform that they have. And we've minted a bunch of stuff on their platform. And yeah, it's a lot of fun, cool, interesting tech. And yeah, this is a little fun quest to learn more about it and what the products they have to offer. But before we get started, thank you for joining me. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share this out. All that fun stuff helps spread the word of this channel and blockchain technology and all the fun it has to offer. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Let's quack into it. So first up, we'll learn about Polyhedra. Polyhedra network enables trustless and highly efficient interoperability solutions. Its network facilitates cross-chain asset transfers, message passing, and data sharing. So you can send <coughs> you can send messages to other wallets and stuff. So claim the Nabox NFT from the ZK Bridge platform. Now you can, I think I've done this one before. I think I've minted this, but we will see. Yeah, use the NFT gallery to claim. So connect your wallet here. And I've done this before. And I think you can claim more than once. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can come in here and, <clears throat> and claim this. And this is the, the list of all the features it has. So ZK NFT, where you can send your NFTs across chain. And here's a little history of, of stuff that I've done. ZK message. So this you can send to a certain wallet address on a different network. And it's like an email. OP BNB chain. They have a, a bridge so that you can add funds to OP BNB. The client get book built on layer zero the blog, little ecosystem campaigns and fun stuff, and their loyalty, which shows things that we've done. <clears throat> oh, Burger Cities. Awesome. I think we've done this one before. Star Legend. I don't believe I've done, but either way, Now that you know the basics of Polyhedra and have opened your or minted your NFT, let's get in some NFT bridging. So we'll close out of here. So quest requirements, <clears throat> we've done that. Bridge any NFT on ZK Bridge. So you'll go here and select whatever network you've minted. Okay, do the Nabox NFT. Okay, so, so we have to transfer from Polygon, <clears throat> which is fine. We'll clear that out and 
do this mainnet alpha. Actually, I'm going to switch back to BNB chain because I'd like to I'd like to send this NABOX over to Polygon. <clears throat> so select your blockchain of choice, the recipient address. If it's your wallet, it'll put it here automatically. If it's a different wallet, you'll have to put that in. And you'll approve, gives us permission to access your NFT. <clears throat> and to transfer, and then the next one will be to send it. Because with these smart contracts, you need, to give <clears throat> you need to give approval for the asset and approval for the asset to be transferred. So pay a little gas and you will get that transferred over. Now, since this is in its infant, stages they do a lot of these nfts are free minus the gas fees <clears throat> or plus you know gas costs so less than a dollar sometimes less than 50 cents sometimes pennies it just depends on what network it is and <clears throat> yeah so we'll verify if it doesn't give it to us we'll okay if that doesn't work then try sending it from Polygon to BNB. But since I've done all these before, or I've sent across to all these networks in different combinations thereof, I've, uh, I've amassed quite a, some on-chain activity. <laughs> um, all right, next up, learn about ZK Bridge Messenger. And you'll have to complete the other parts of the quest. So introducing Greenfield ZK Messenger, your gateway to effortless Web3 emails. Unlock the ability to send key data across multiple blockchain networks. Learn how to send Web3 emails as easily as regular internet emails while safeguarding your data during transit. That's the important thing. <clears throat> you get all these emails that are at risk to being exposed to other companies or entities or nefarious actors in between and this can keep it safe zero knowledge proof can keep your stuff encrypted only exposing specific specific key or like minimal minimal information very specific minimal and to where it won't expose all of your data so send a message via z uh, greenfield zk messenger from polygon to bnb chain so I'm just going to verify this since we've done that before. So from Polygon to BNB. Now, if you want to send a message to somebody else, <clears throat> you can do that. You can type some stuff in here if you want, but just send the message and you'll see your inbox over here on the left hand side and your sent messages. So it's a pretty cool way of sending emails. I think uh, Dmail is another service that has encrypted messages or emails on the blockchain. Mm. Yeah, it's funny. It's don't mind the price right here <clears throat> because sometimes that uh the user interface messes up <clears throat> and it's it doesn't show the actual polygon. It thinks it's in BNB. So boom, you just sent a message to yourself. Now let's check the inbox. Hasn't come in yet, <clears throat> but let's see direct messages. Yeah, and this sent one. It's 
still hasn't arrived, but that's okay. Bada boom, bada boom. Quest complete. Now you know how to send a message, encrypted. <coughs> Next, we'll learn about ZK Bridge. So create your own NFT using the NFT creator tool on Polygon. Ooh, the NFT creator tool. So I'm going to come in here. <clears throat> Have I done this before? I don't know if I have. Nope. New one for me too. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my Twitters. I'm just gonna save image of my profile picture and then we can get this uh, All right, the name, put your name in there. Do the description, test NFT. You can add properties in here. Type properties or key value pairs that you can use for NFT utilities. What network? <clears throat> I think it said Polygon, right? Contract and then supply. Number of NFTs to be minted. Doesn't look like you can change that. Okay. Let's create our test NFT. You see that it, was, it wasn't even a penny to make this. That's the kind of transaction fees I like to see. Kind of like to see. Bow, 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 bow. It's a beautiful day outside, a beautiful day outside. So now we'll verify. Very easy way to, and then bridge the NFT. So we'll go into here, check our polygon, import your NFT. There we go, blockchain report. Confirm, import that. Next, which blockchain you want, which blockchain you want. Let's, let's do one that, let's do a mantle. We'll send a mantle just because their mantle is a new blockchain and we can get some on-chain activity with that. <clears throat> so we'll have all kinds of fun. LZ, what's up? Layer zero. Still waiting on that ZRO token whenever it wants to pop up. Oh, uh, it couldn't be a zero, 1420. There, and I think the most you'll pay is when you bridge and it, it's a uh, But when you're doing other transactions, it's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. I think this is a really cool project as well. It's just got a lot of neat things. And it's it's putting out some good some good tech. Developing some interesting things in the ecosystem. And you can view your transaction on layer zero scan. If you want to see your history, come in here and you can see the sender transaction hash and you can see the, the block explorer that's still being sent. So this one's completed. And you can see the message details. And yeah. You can skip that, but I I wouldn't. I would just go ahead and do it to get the 
on chain activity up and boom now these four quests are done but there's an extra one that's not included with this that I wanted to bring up because it is part of layer zero and it is a uh, pretty important so Mint Dao partnered with Layer Zero and they have an expedition um, by minting an NFT and bridging. So start your omni-chain adventure by minting an OF O N N an O N F T Omnichain NFT on Mint Dao. Oh 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 oh. Engage in an effortless cross-chain expedition with a simple click on Mint Dao. By minting your Omnichain NFT or ONFT on Mint DAO, it automatically navigates through layer zero for a seamless cross-chain experience. Each ONFT is a notable milestone for your cross-chain adventures. So mint an ONFT on Mint DAO, mint the layer zero expedition. So we'll connect our wallet. We've done I don't know if this is the exact one, but we shall. Let's go on. We'll use base for this. Or even ZK Sync. I'm going to mint this on ZK Sync. That way we get <clears throat> our on chain activity. So we can't, oh. Oh, we can't. Uh, well, let's go back to base. So I guess the only chains available are these ones listed right here. So current chain, it's a free mint. Go through all this, follow them on Twitter. And then like and retweet. I think I've done this before. But it's all right. Yep. And then you can mint. Yeah, look at all these minting chain, the numbers by minting chain, base, Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, Linea, BNB, Avalanche, Ethereum. I think people are using base just because they want to uh, they want to use a network that doesn't have a token yet. And you could even mint these on each network too. That way your on-chain activity is multi-chain. So it looks like we have minted our NFT, and you can see down here, you monitor your mint status. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and verify. Don't know if it'll like that, but let's go. So transactions completed, mint in progress. Now let's check my dashboard because I, okay, I minted on Polygon and I minted a spaceship. Okay, so let's actually check these, okay. Bridge, airdrop. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Okay, it looks like we don't have that yet. <clears throat> so let's see if um 
Okay. I guess it has not minted yet. Let's see if we can verify again. I don't remember why I did this, uh, minted this spaceship. Let's see. Do we got it yet? Nope. Still nothing, huh? I swear this, uh, taking a while. Usually with layer zero, it's pretty quick. But I guess not. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's uh let's check out Linea. Let's see if we can mint one on Linea and get a a faster transaction. Cause I'm not sure what the dealio is with this. Seems to be hung up. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I guess it takes like five minutes to... to go through. This is another one that's a little weird. It's, um... Okay, I gave my... Got to get my gummies, man. My candy. Chocolate rain. Bum, 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 bum. Chocolate rain. Wow. Doesn't seem like it wants to work at all, huh? Interesting. Come on, layer zero. You gonna work for me? You gonna work it, work it? Okay, so it finally verified. Now we get to bridge our NFT. So we open the Mint DAO bridge. We can close out of here and here. And we are on our bridge. So current chain, we'll go back to our base. As that is a network that we need to be on. And we will send over layer zero expedition. Ooh, what's layer zero? Prime Quest? Huh. Select destination to any other chain. Let's go with Optimism. Approve and send. This will give your NFT, uh, this will give approval to withdraw your NFT and transfer it. You want to allow access? Yes. Confirm. This just shows what you're interacting or what assets are being interacted with. And you can send that. Waiting for a send transaction. And boom. Congratulations. You have bridged with Mint Dow. <clears throat> now I'd like to see some other. No.
So layer zero prime quest, huh? Let's see if I can go back in there and redo it. <clears throat> So I wonder where the layer zero prime quest is. Either way, so my NFT has been bridged, although it's not giving me a verification, but either way, you know what to do. I'm not going to let this drag on any <clears throat> anymore so just if you want to share the quest out go for it if not wait for the time to unlock for your verification and yeah come on there nothing well I'll let you have fun with that and finish it up but mint Dow layer zero and polyhedra, all, all worth keeping in your crypto bookmarks. Layer zero, <clears throat> I don't have Mint Dow in here, but as you can see, I got Holograph and uh, Mystery of the Pandralia, that one's gone. Got my layer zero folder, so got some bridges, got some dexes, got some fun stuff. Just things you want to you want to have your stuff saved in here so that way you're not missing things so um okay either way i hope you learned a lot hope you got some uh some new fun things to to look forward to and yeah happy minting happy hunting happy learning and if you have any questions comments need help with anything let me know down below but with that this is the blockchain report have a wonderful day peace